OU Medical Center brings you Health Matters. For years, Dr. Muna Nash and her colleagues at the University of Oklahoma Health Sciences Center have been working in a tiny world, working at the genetic level in hopes of finding a way to halt or even reverse genetic diseases that often lead to blindness. Now they've discovered a new way to deliver such treatments right where they're needed. Utilizing nanotechnology, they have created a microscopic capsule of sorts, capable of carrying genetic therapies to their destination inside the cells of the retina. It's like giving, giving it um, a Tylenol or let's, let's see if, if the cell feels better. And, and it is true, it is like, like that. That tiny delivery vehicle is now being used to test a variety of gene therapies in laboratory models, and it's proving quite effective and fast, carrying the therapies to their destination in the eye within 15 minutes and spreading the genetic repair message quickly to other cells. We see uniform expression throughout uh, the retina, the entire retina. Almost, almost 99% of the cells take it. And, and the exciting thing about it also, about this is that the onset of expression is very quick. Nash is hopeful her research will lead to a way to halt diseases like retinitis pigmentosa and macular degeneration. Vision specialists at Dean McGee Eye Institute are equally excited. The fact that one of the most daunting tasks is the fact that there's so many genetic variations, but because this type of system exists to where we can potentially treat all sorts of different genetic mutations with one healthy gene that actually is 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 developed to produce that to to cure that 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 area of defective genetic material that's that's just it's breathtaking patients are also watching this research with renewed hope usually going to places at night i just have my friends help me navigate kind of around and stuff and to know that something like this is happening, it's a great thing. Thank you. Nash warns there is still much work to be done, but the team hopes to move these potential treatments to patient trials as quickly as possible. This is Teresa Green reporting. Health Matters is brought to you by OU Medical Center. For more information, log on to OUMedicalCenter.com or call us at 405-271-5000.